church. How would you feel if you knew something terrible was going to happen to you this week? You can't change it, and nobody else knows about it. You might even mention it to other people, but they don't understand what you're talking about because they don't know the future like you do. Well, that's the experience that Jesus had the last week of his life here on earth. We call this Holy Week. It's the week leading up to his crucifixion. This is the most recorded and extensively examined week in all of human history. A third of the biblical gospel's accounts is focused on this one week. Well, beginning today, we are going to walk with Jesus through this week. What happened to Jesus during this week? What does that show us about Jesus? And maybe what does it teach us for ourselves as well? Well, it all began on Sunday, what we today call Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday was a day that started like many others for Jesus. He happened to be in Bethany, a little town about two miles from Jerusalem. He was staying with his friends that he had there, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. You may remember that a few weeks before he had raised Lazarus from the dead. And that and the other miracles and teachings that Jesus had made, well, they made him like a rock star. People were talking about Jesus everywhere. They wondered where he was and what he was doing. And for their part, the Jewish religious leaders were looking for Jesus too, but not because they wanted to see him. They wanted to arrest him. People, a lot of them, were thinking that Jesus might become the king they had been waiting for. They wanted to be liberated from the Romans, and Jesus was able to perform miracles. Maybe he could use his powers to help them get free from Roman rule. Well, Jesus left Bethany on Palm Sunday morning very early with his other disciples. And about halfway near the top of the Mount of Olives, Jesus instructed a couple of his disciples to go into a near town and to there find and bring to him uh, a donkey that had never been ridden before. They did. They brought it to him. They put some of their clothes over it, and Jesus got onto the donkey. He began to ride, and as he went down the Mount of Olives toward Jerusalem, no one knows exactly where it started, but people started to gather. The word got out. Jesus was here. He was coming to Jerusalem. And somebody maybe started a rumor that Jesus was coming because he was going to rule. He was going to take up his reign over Jerusalem. And some of the people in the crowd started to throw their coats down, and others were throwing down palm branches. And some of them started shouting, Hosanna! which means save us. They were treating Jesus like he was a conquering hero. Others shouted, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And some even said, blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Like this was language that reminded people of the long prophesied Messiah. But for all their talk and all of the commotion, it just didn't look right. Jesus wasn't who they were looking for. After all, he was riding on a donkey, not on a horse. He didn't look like a military conqueror. None of his followers had swords or shields. They weren't armed. And as they reached the bottom of the Kidron Valley and maybe started their way up, it just, as quickly as it had started, it ended. 
And then we read something very interesting. It says that as Jesus made his way up and approached Jerusalem, he wept. That seems odd. But Jesus said this, Jerusalem, if only you had known this day and the things that make for peace, huh, but now they've been hidden from your eyes. He went on and said that soon the city would be surrounded by enemies and it would be destroyed because they didn't recognize who he was. He entered the city. He entered by the Eastern Gate, what some people today call the Golden Gate. It's the gate that's nearest the temple. And he went into the temple area and it says that he looked around. But it was late in the day and he and his disciples returned to Bethany for the night. So on Sunday, the first day of the week, of Holy Week, Jesus was shouted praises and Jesus shed tears. You see, only Jesus knew what lay ahead. This was not the time for his kingdom. His road this week led not to a throne, but to a cross. One day, the prophets foretold he would return to Jerusalem to reign. Perhaps that day is coming soon.